as you must already know by now, three out of the five um, G5 governors, Otom, Ikbeazu, Wai, all lost their senatorial bid, and <laughs> Sheima Kinde is in dilemma. Sheima Kinde is in limbo. <laughs> I am sure that he's thinking that how am I going to get back in office? How am I going to make sure I win and not lose because hmm, it's a talk of war? Even stronger political parties in Lagos as well. I know I'm very sure that Songulu would be trying very hard, you know, to to make sure that he, he gets back into office and make sure that APC retains power in Lagos because, as you know, Labour Party won. In the presidential election in lagos and it was a shock to everyone it was a shock to me because i never expected it <laughs> i didn't see it coming but it was a shock real shock and i know that you know people political party that considered themselves very strong are now thinking twice they are thinking twice <laughs> if i don't put in the work if i don't actually work these people are going to unseat me with no mercy of course we are before we go into the details of today's news, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please make sure you subscribe, turn on the post notification bell so that you will be the first person to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Help us grow this channel by giving this video a massive thumbs up so that it gets recommended to other YouTube viewers all around the world. Lastly, please leave your comments in the comment section. Without further ado, let's delve right into the details of today's news. Political parties and major political gladiators in Oyo State have begun alignment and consultations ahead of the March 11, 2023 gubernatorial election. Newsroom Nigeria reports that the struggle is coming few days after the conduct of the presidential and national assembly elections. Six out of the 18 registered political parties in the state have been laying claim to victory. The political parties include the ruling People's Democratic Party PDP, All Progressive Congress APC, Accord, Labour Party, New Nigeria People's Party NMPP, and Social Democratic Party SDP. Be that as it may, the result has announced by the Independent National Electoral Commission INEC showed the difference between the contenders and the pretenders. The APC has the upper hand, followed by the People's Democratic Party, PDP, and then the Labour Party. The candidate of the All Progressive Congress, APC, won in eight federal constituencies out of 12 federal constituencies where elections were concluded. The People's Democratic Party, PDP, won in four federal constituencies in the state. The result of the remaining two federal constituencies have not been announced as of the time of filing this report on Friday. Elections in two federal constituencies, Oluyole Federal Constituency and Ibadan North East, Ibadan Southwest and Federal Constituency were declared inconclusive due to some ad abnormalities observed by the electoral body. APC won in Ibadan North, Afijio, Atiba, Oyo East, Oyo West, Ido, Abarakpa, Ibarakpa East, Shaki East, Shaki West, Atizbo, Ubomosho North, Ubomosho South, Urire, Egbeda, Onoara, Akinyele, Lagelu, and Irekbo, Olon Shogo, Orelope. The four federal constituencies won by the PDP included Isei, Itesiwaju, Kajola, Iwajowa, Ogolua, Surulere, Ibarakpa Central, Ibarakpa North, and Ibadon Northwest, Ibadon Southwest. APC also won the three senatorial seats in the state, Oyo South, Oyo North, and Oyo Central. In the presidential election held on Saturday, the presidential candidate of APC, Ashiwa Jubala Metinobo, scored a total of 
449,884 to defeat candidates of all other political parties in the state. The People's Democratic Party PDP candidate Alaja Tegu Abubakar scored a total of 182,977 votes. The Labour Party candidate Mr. Peter Obi scored a total of 99,110 votes. The results, as announced, also showed that ADP scored 2,298 votes, ABCA got 1,368 votes, NNPP scored 4,095 votes, Accord scored 39,514, SDP got 14,517, while ZLP got 2,707. Findings by Newsroom Nigeria since Saturday revealed that the presidential and national assembly election results have changed the political calculation in the state. While it was obvious that six political parties were in the race prior to the election, it, was, it has been observed that only three political parties are in the race ahead of the gubernatorial election at the moment. The three dominant political parties are the ruling PDP, which has Governor Sheyi Makindi as its candidate, and APC, which produced Senator Teslim Folare, an accord which field chief Adebayo Adelabu. The three political parties have been skimming and have begun alignment among different political parties but lost in the election. Our correspondent learned that consultations are currently going on in various geopolitical zones, towns and villages over who to support in the gubernatorial election. News from Nigeria investigation revealed that since Saturday, the PDP, which produced the current governor as its candidate for the election, has been going to different locations with a promise to consolidate on its achievements. The state governor and his political party, the PDP, is basing its campaign on what it described as landmark achievements in the areas of education, health, transportation, agriculture, housing, employment and urban renewal. But the opposition party, the ABC and Accord on their own, says that there is a need for change. The two parties and their candidates, in a bid to occupy the government house, have been running after candidates of other political parties that lost in last Saturday's election in a bid to either form an alliance or merger. What do you all think about this? What do you make of this? And uh, let me have your predictions in the comment section. Do you think that uh, Shei Makinde is going to lose as, you know, the other three governors who lost their seats as well? Do you think he's going to lose his own seat as well? Let me know in the comment section or if you think he's going to win, let me also know in the comment section. Thank you very much for always watching and listening. I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.